Hi friends, let's see an application uh, which is a very simple uh, program 0000 to 999 counter program by using 4 digit 7 segment. So before that uh, I am Sheshanan from Aerotech Solutions. So, so this is the application output I want to show you. So uh, you can run a counter from 0, 0, 0 to 999 so anyway starts from 0, 0, 0 to next 1 2 3 4 5 like this so this is a simple outview of this uh, project or application or whatever it is okay so one microcontroller unit and seven segment four digit multiple seven segment I'm using now so uh, this is one important thing whenever you are dealing with this multiple seven segments or seven segments so you should aware of the respective number if you are trying to display you have to go this lookup tables so this lookup tables you have to design your own as per your connection so either you are coming a b c d f g h from lsb to msb or msb to lsb so values will be changed accordingly but for common anode case so your common pin is given to VCC so whenever I am expecting on that particular segment you have to assign 0 for that lead of your segment so already anode end given to supply source so the cathode end you need to drive with your logic so anyway cathode is expecting 0 if you are expecting to turn on that particular segment so suppose if you are expecting 0 number so except G and H you need to turn on all the segments so according to that the values are very clear 0 x c 0 for 0 number and displaying 1 so that b and c will be on other segments will be off so that I am just assigning logic 0 for b and c and other segments are 1's so according to that the value is f9 so like this I just I took all the numbers what I am expecting on this 7 segment and I, I, I found the equivalent values so according to me so A segment is given to LSB and H segment is given to MSB of IO port ok so these are the values 0 for C0 1 is the value for F9 2 is the number and A4 is the equivalent hexa value and number 3 B0 4, 99, 5, 92, 6, 82, 7, F8, 8, 8, 0, 9, 9, 0. So this is my connection according to me. This microcontroller data lines range A to H, A, B, C, D, F, G, H are connected with one entire port and common pins. See this multiple 7 segments you have to manage with common pins programming. So I will show you the logic also ok so the common pins I just given to port 3 of microcontroller 3.0, 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3 .3. so totally I am using 11 IOs from microcontroller so just keep it in mind this hardware circuit diagram so that you can easily understand what is the logic of this so I just developed this equivalent source code of this within embedded C of embedded C and I am using a small microcontroller which is A051 and coming to the logic so this is a header file for 51 families in embedded C and I just already I shown you like where I connected my common pins uh, those connections I am declaring with S bit data type so S bit is, is a data type in embedded C which allows to access one single bit from SFR registers so that all IO ports are special function register names so whenever I am trying to access individual IOs so you need this declaration S bit followed by one user defined name and assignment operator equal and followed by port name with special symbol caps and bit number so the same syntax I am following for all individual 4 bits common 1 is connected to 3.0 common 2 is connected to 3.1 common 3 is connected P3.2 and common 4 is connected P3.3 so these are my common pin connections across microcontroller and this is my main logic from here main logic will start and I just all 
numbers I saved in array which is 10 size so whatever the lookup table values I am just saving in an array C0, F9, A4 all these values up to 0 to 9 so I got 10 count now I am taking temporary variables 5 so from V1 to V5 and one integer data type and the initial logics of all common pins are zeros see whenever I am activating common pin that particular segment will be activated so now I am using inner for loop concept here so you should you, sh you should aware of this minimum knowledge of loops so how these loops are working so I am taking an infinite loop which is while of 1 so now I am taking the first for loop which is with a variable v1 so you need to understand the meaning of this this is the initial assignment of v1 and checking condition with 10 and increment so whenever I am using inner for loops you need to understand so the internal process is over then only the compilation comes to the same loop again ok see the for loop and just open the bracket and taking the inner for loop v2 and again within this second for loop I am taking inner for loop v3 with variable and inner for loop v4 so these four variables I am using to maintain my count on segments as per index so v4 is related to the first segment v3 is related to next beside segment and v2 is related to the second segment and v1 is related to first segment so only for this the inner for loop v4 is incremented 10 times then only v3 come into the picture if v3 completed 10 times then only v2 will come into the picture ok so this again I am taking another inner for loop this is for executing the statements 50 times so that so I am just repeating same statements 50 times I can watch my numbers properly because 7 segments have response time so suppose if you are not taking this for loop your, your v4 increment your v4 variable is going to increment very quickly so that you cannot watch the numbers properly on 4 digits if I want to see these 4 numbers at particular time at some time so I am just taking this execution time execution loop which is 50 times so by executing this same statement 50 times I can watch my numbers properly ok so this is for repeating executing repeating execution 50 times see I am entering into this execution loop first common pin is activated and then so I am taking this P2 is equal to segment of V1 what is P2 here so all data lines A, B, C, D, F, G, H connected to port 2 from hardware so I am taking the V1 index I am taking with respect to V1 index so initially V1 is 0 no change from this V1 value so that it, it, it allows to read the first element of your segment which is 0th element anyway your index starts with 0, 1, 2, 3 like this so segment of 0 means what is the number it is going to read 0x c0 so that you will get 0 number display on 7 segment so I am taking very small time delay because I need to switch my segments with very less time so that all digits are managing numbers so again I am disabling my first common pin and activating second common pin by assigning logic 1 again the second digit is going to read the element as per v2 index so anyway v2 is also initially 0 so it allows to read again same 0x c0 value and it displays on second digit 0 so this is a switching delay between each segment but this should be very small if suppose if you are giving more time delay here you can watch the numbers individually first 0 and it is going to turn off and then second 0 and then it is going to turn off and third digit so like this you can watch your numbers so this is your third digit I am just activating third common pin and taking the value to port and then switching delay 
then fourth common pin is activated and reading the element of array see finally your v4 is incremented up to 10 so that you can watch the numbers on four digit 0 0 0 0 and v4 is incremented by 1 after repeating the same lines 50 times so only v4 is incremented by 1 so remaining v1 v2 v3 remain 0 so that the display should be 0 0 0 1 and the same lines are executed 50 times so that I can watch the response so v4 is incremented by 2 so that you can watch the number 0 0 0 2 I will show you output of this program so just write your embedded C programs and build it and you need to link up your hex file with this Proteus design so even I will show you how to design your Proteus circuit so this is the tool you can use to check your all hardware results with the help of simulation software so this is a very popular simulation tool which is used in microcontrollers and embedded C firmware development and I am taking the next component is 7 segment and based on description you need to choose your different color 7 digits are available digits are available with count 4 digit, 2 digit, 6 digit now my application is expecting 4 digit common anode so if it is a common cathode again you, ha you can have to change your values so I just selected these two one is microcontroller and other one is 4 digit 7 segment display now as per our logic so I need to connect my things so data lines A, B, C, D, F, G, H connected across port 2 so I am connecting A segment with LSB of port 2 and H segment with P2.7 this is the order you have to follow so according to me you have to I just declared my connections with port 2 and common pins are connected across P3.0 3.1 3.2 and 3.3 these are my hardware connections so now you need to link your hex file where it is present in my computer so I just created my channel which is erotic solutions from YouTube and this is my logic and counter 0 0 0 to 9999 and you can set your oscillator frequency or else there is no issue because there is no serial communication involved here now you can start play this simulation so you can clearly watch your numbers 0 0 0 1 2 3 so once your the last for loop which is related to v4 index as per logic once it will reach 10 9 then it, it second second digit incremented by 1 so this program will run from 0, 0, 0 to 9999. This is my simple application using controller. So you, you can have to wait more time to see the complete 9999. So this is the logic anyway it comes your output up to 0 0 to 9999 okay so for more videos please subscribe my channel erotech solutions from youtube and please give your valuable feedback so if anything uh, you are expecting if you have any doubts on microcontroller programs so please subscribe and give write down your comments and we are dealing with different divisions training and placement activities and you are doing solutions and you are offering even projects internships for engineering students so please subscribe and follow our channel for more videos and you can contact us we are located in Hyderabad 
Telangana. Okay, so this is my address and contact number and email ID. Okay, thanks for thanks for watching, my friends.